What's going on everybody? Welcome to uh, Tony's Cigar Corner with a video review. Something a little different. Um, I have done video reviews in the past. If you all remember, I've done a lot with the Cigar Brothers and then uh, kind of gone on my own. Now if any of you all remember or have been keeping up with me uh, through my, my website or my Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be, um, you all know that I recently moved to Texas and my move is finally done. I'm here, I'm excited, and uh, with that, now it's gonna, I'm gonna start doing a lot more video reviews. You know, now that I'm here, I got my garage, and you know, I don't have a small little backyard anymore. I have more room to actually uh, set up and actually do the video reviews for you guys. And this is actually gonna be my first one. And uh, what I have for you all today is the La Gloria Cubana Gilded Age. Now, uh, this cigar was actually sent to me by a famous smoke shop. Uh, I'm really excited about doing this review. I've actually done a couple of the Gloria Cubanas already and I've, I've enjoyed them so far. Uh, this one's in a uh, Toro size. It's a six by 54. It's uh, the country, it's, it's Honduran. I'm actually looking at all the information just so you guys know. I can't remember all of this stuff right off the top of my head. But uh, it's got a Sumatra leaf. It's actually a gorgeous leaf. I don't know if you guys can even see it. I know the lighting might be a little bit off right now. But um, you know, as I progress and I actually finish getting everything set up, all the reviews will start getting a lot better. All right, uh, the wrapper origin is, is uh, Ecuadorian. <sighs> smells absolutely beautiful. You know, earthy notes, notes of barnyard, like barnyard aromas. It's like a slight, I wanna say like a peppery, almost chocolatey note in there. It's actually very nice. Um, it's actually a um, very kind of smooth wrapper, uh, kind of a little bit veiny, you know, there's veins there, nothing really too big, uh, tight and visible seams, it's got a nice double cap on it, it's actually a very good looking cigar. Now I'm uh, really excited to get into this, let's go ahead and cut up and see what happens here. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my double guillotine, uh, take a little snip off the top there. Draws, draws a slight, slight, slight snug, but it's uh, it's really not too bad. Notes of earth, cocoa, a little more chocolatey than cocoa. Some earthy notes, almost like a moist earth. Very nice. All right. Hopefully that draw opens up a little bit. It's kind of a, a little bit too tight for my liking, but we'll see what happens. And today, I'm gonna to be using the uh, Cigar Reserve Spills. You know, the, the more I use these, the, the more I'm uh, really starting to enjoy them. You know, I did do a review on them. And I, I really do like them. I enjoy using them. I think that they actually do help with the flavor. Now, right off the start, I do get a little more of a blast of the cedar uh, notes uh, from the start. So it does kind of, you know, mess with the flavors a little bit on, on the start, but it's really not that bad. You know, it, it could be a lot worse. Uh, and let's see, and I'm still kind of new with, the, with this uh, these spills, but I'm getting better with them every day. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, I mess it up already. Alright, it's the only part I really dislike about the spills and you get all these little ashes everywhere but it's worth it in the end, you know, nice slow flame and uh, you know it really does help enhance the flavors and I really do enjoy it. Initial draw, initial experience, very woody, um, almost, you know I do get the, the cedar 
from the spills, I can, I can pick up that aroma right off the bat. Draw still a little snug. And a couple of notes, almost a little bit nutty. Um, surprised, you know, I'm not getting any of the pepper notes, but I thought those would be some pepper. I mean, most of the other ones I've had in the Gordo Cabanas, I've had strong peppers right to start. Sorry about the noise outside, people were driving around and stuff. But uh, I had usually had peppery starts from this uh, right off the bat, but this one, not so much. Well, good start up with the light, and uh, I'll see you here just a little bit as we get further down into the first third. Uh, see what happens. Welcome back, everybody. So uh, I'm reaching, on, you know, about midway through the first third, going into the second third. Um, so far, the gilded edge has been pretty nice. All right, the draw has finally opened up. At the start, the draw was uh, very, very snug. But it's starting to loosen up now, and uh, it's taking a bit longer than I would have liked for it to open up, but it finally is. Um, smoke output has been pretty normal, nothing extravagant, not like some of the smokes I'm used to where it's got big, big little of smoke. Um, there you go. But, you know, it's not bad smoke output. The burn has been almost razor sharp the whole time, it's been absolutely gorgeous. The salt and pepper, uh, Ash, you know, it's densely packed. There's a lot more salt than pepper. It's a very good looking ash. I'm very excited about it. I say that a lot, and I do get excited about stuff. I don't know, I don't know why I do it, but either way, anyways, besides the point. Um, so far, note wise, uh, mostly woody, earthy notes. You know, there's a slight sweetness that comes in here and there. It's not, it's not consistent with the smoke, but it does pop in every once in a while, mostly on the finish. Uh, the finish is eh, pretty long. It's, it's not not extremely long, but you know it lasts a good five six seconds, and you can you can get, still get those flavors on there. So it's not extremely long. It's not almost from draw to draw, but it's, it's still not too bad. Uh, the notes I've, I've been enjoying them. You know those woody notes, pretty consistent so far, and we'll see you know how it goes as I get further in. Hopefully I'll see a couple transitions. I don't know if I will or not, but hopefully they'll come. You know. Uh, also another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. But I'm not sure if you all know, you know if, if you have been following me on my website, then you already know this, but I did pick up uh, three more reviewers. Of course, uh, Joe Shanty was my first one. He's not actually one of my cigar reviewers, but he is you know, the leader of the Demon's Grin Infusion. So if you guys are into infusions, you know, check out the Demon's Grin. He's got some really good stuff on there and try his infusions. He, he does some very good infusions. You know, and he, they're reasonably priced, you know, very, very good smokes. Uh, so check him out and you know, give him a shot. And of course, picked up you know Eric Howard from Cigar Commander, who writes absolutely great reviews. I really enjoy his reviews, and I think they're they're great. And uh, Matthew Langley, who's actually uh, I guess like my step cousin, uh, so he came on board with me. He does really good reviews. He did his first one a couple of weeks ago with the uh, the uh, what did he do? The Crow Magnum, the Neanderthal. That's what he did. It was a very good review, and you know. I'm really excited about, about having all three of them on there. So it's going to give me the opportunity to come to you guys and video reviews more often. So, you know, I'm pretty excited about it. So make sure you guys um, keep on checking in with me and checking out their reviews, you know. Um, there's going to be a lot more coming to you all. And it, it's, going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun as I start to transition, you know, more into the video reviews, and I hope you guys like them. Give me the feedback on them. What I'm trying to do is reach more of the guys who um, who aren't really uh, into the reading part of the reviews. I know I'm just you know reading isn't one of the things that a lot of people do nowadays. But you know I, I understand. Even myself, I write them, and sometimes I don't even feel like reading them. But you know, <laughs> so I want to do some more video reviews and get out to you guys that, that enjoy the video reviews. Uh, I know I know I enjoy doing them. And as I said before, as I get to do more of them, it'll start getting better, you know, work out some of the bugs. It's been a while since I've been on camera, so we'll see how it goes. But either way, I'm going to get further into the stick, and I'll be right back with you guys and let you know how it's going. Talk to you all in a little bit. All right, everyone, just a quick little update. I wanted to show you guys a little something. Uh, the burn so far has just got a, a little crazy on me. I don't know if, if you all can see that or not, but I'm getting a 
crazy burn there, big old fingernail. Um, the first time that it's been doing this, you know, but uh, another thing that I've noticed also is that the, the draw has really started to open up, um, really starting to get some bigger clouds of smoke. Uh, so you can tell it's a lot more smoke than it was um, giving me a little earlier. I don't know if you see it or not, but you know, the smoke off the foot has become more abundant. Uh, what I wanted to do was just kind of clean up this, um, give it a little touch up here, clean up the actual burn on itself. So that um, just give it a quick little torch here. I really don't like to get the flame too close on. I don't want, I want it to touch the wrapper itself. I kind of just let it heat up. So you can kind of catch up with itself. But I just lost the ash in myself. That's all right. I'll get this all cleaned up and. Uh, I'll be right back with you guys here in a little bit as I get further down. Just wanted to show you that the burn started to get a little crazy on me. Uh, so, show you how I touch it up. I said I, I don't ever like to get the flame right on the cigar and actually start to burn it up. Uh, what I like to do is just kind of keep it a distance, keep it from a distance away, and just let the, the heat kind of push its way towards the, the burn line. You'll see it light up, get a little warm, and it'll burn softly by itself. This way you're not overheating the cigar or uh, ruining the wrapper itself. All right, I'll see you all in a little bit as we get further in. Probably be back, back to you guys right about the band point. See you in a little bit. All right, everybody, so um, I'm at the band point now. Just wanted to come back and uh, you know give you guys a little impression of what I got going on right now. So flavor-wise, there hasn't much to change. I've been pretty consistent the whole way through. Uh, still your same woody notes, uh, earthy notes. There is, um, like I said before, there's a slight sweetness in there. There's also a, a kind of floral note that, that's coming to play uh, here as I got, I'm starting to move closer to the band. It's uh, coming up every so often. I don't really know how to, how to, how to describe these floral notes, but it's kind of like the, I, it's like I'm tasting the smell of something. I don't know if you all know what I'm talking about, you know, but, um, you know, like the way a flower smells is the, is the taste that I'm getting. It's actually pretty nice. Got in this of a couple of other smokes. I can't remember any off the top of my head right now, but I've had it before and I do enjoy it. Sorry if you can hear the traffic outside, but you know, I got people outside. It's a Friday night, everyone's kind of hanging out. So, but um, either way, so the, the woody note is really the one that's the strongest right now. It's really out front in the palate. It lasts pretty long on the finish. Uh, when the sweetness does come into play, that's usually what the what the finish is. This, the sweetness kind of flows onto the onto the finish and lays kind of on the palate. It's, it's pretty nice to know. Um, getting ready to take this band off. And I want to show you guys this uh, as I take it off. You know, some bands are crazy, and uh, you see, uh, this is actually a pretty large band. Hopefully, they didn't go crazy then. It actually comes off easily and perfectly. It's not a self adhesive, but you know they didn't use a lot of glue on it. It's actually a very nice band. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's a very good looking band. I like it. Um, draw wise, it's really opened up here. And I've got to the, the halfway point. I mean, it, the, the smoke is really flowing. And the foot smoke is very nice. The this foot smoke is also very aromatic. Uh, still very woody notes on, on the foot smoke. You know, it's just a very consistent cigar, and it's been very nice. And the uh, burn line, since the like, last touch-up, has, has been solid. It's not razor sharp as it was in the start. It's got some waves in it, but it's really not too bad. Uh, the ash itself is almost completely white. Very nice. You know, I've had a very nice ash, and I'm having a very nice draw now. So, far, you know, up to this point, it's been very nice. So I'm hoping it conti continues all the way through until I reach my stopping point. And, um, I was really hoping for some more transitions. I was hoping I'd get a couple more flavors in there. Myself, I, I prefer cigars that are a little more on the complex side. I like to keep my my, my brain racing. You know, I, I don't want I don't really want to know what to expect uh, as I'm going each draw. You know, there's some cigars that are just crazy. Like I recently, I smoked the Liga Vada T52, and that, that cigar was just crazy. I mean, it was just a roller coaster, left and right, flavors coming in from everywhere. And I really enjoyed it. You know, I, I like that in a cigar. Now I do enjoy consistency. Sometimes, you know, I'm just sitting back and relaxing or whatever. And I don't really feel like doing too much or thinking about it. I enjoy consistency, but usually, uh, 
complex cigars that I do enjoy myself. So uh, I'm gonna get a little bit further in here uh, and I'll let you know if something happens and gets a little crazy. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, everyone. So I'm getting close to my ending point here. It's starting to warm up just a little bit, but it's not too bad yet. Um, so far, cigar has been uh, pretty consistent. Not many changes going on inside here. Um, still strong woody flavors out front. Um, earthy tones, earthy undertones. There's uh, a little bit of sweetness, just like before. Uh, the florals kind of died down as I come closer to the, the last third here. Uh, the draw has been outstanding. It took a little bit long for it to, to actually get to the point where I actually enjoyed it. At the start, it was pretty rough. You know, I wasn't really enjoying it too much. It just wasn't giving me the smoke output that I enjoy. But, um, you know, it really opened up right around halfway through the first third, getting towards, you know, the, the second third. Uh, ash has been beautiful the whole way through. Burn lines have been uh, still kind of wavy after that, that touch-up I had to make. Unlike the very start of it, that was, you know, really sharp. It looked really good. Uh, overall, uh, really good smoke. Uh, I would consider buying one of the five packs, so I don't know if I'd go right in for a box or whatever, but uh, I'd, I'd probably get myself a five pack or something. It's, it was very nice smoke. Uh, overall, I think I think a very very good cigar. I really enjoyed it. So once again, this was the uh, La Gloria Cubana Gilded Age. Uh, I think you guys should you know at least pick up a five pack of it. I think you would enjoy it, especially if you like those woody notes and you, you like uh, the earthy notes to it. That you know the smoke output was was decent as I got further in. So. Overall, it wasn't a bad smoke. Nothing I would really rush out to go get, but overall, I did enjoy it. So, you know, give it a shot. See if you like it. You, know, you never know. It might just be a stick that you really, really enjoy. Uh, really looking forward to doing some more uh, cigar reviews, video reviews for you all uh, here in the near future. I'm pretty much going to kick over and start doing just video reviews, kind of get away from, from writing them. I already have a, you know, a good little stable of, of writers who I think are going to be doing excellent for me, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, once again, if, if you like the review and you want to continue watching with me, make sure you subscribe below. You know, shoot me some comments, give me some feedback. I, I want to know, you know what you think of the reviews, uh, what I can do better, stuff like that. You know, yeah, I, I want to know what you guys want to hear or you know what you all want to see. So let me know. Uh, once again, I'm really excited about being here with you guys. Make sure you uh, like it, you know, share it, subscribe to my my channel. And like I said, you know, as I do more videos, videos are gonna get better. You know, the lighting and all these type of things are going to get better with time. So, uh, hopefully I can see you guys soon here. Uh, probably putting one out, hopefully, you know, every other day or so. Um, once again, you'll go over to Famous famous Smoke Shop, pick yourself up some of these Glory Cabanas Gilded Age. Uh, I think you'll really like them. The link's going to be inside the, the window down here on the bottom. And uh, click on it, check it out. Also, you know, I have a promo code. The promo code will be on the bottom. Get yourself a little bit of cash off, you know. It's always good to save a little bit of money. But uh, I'll see you guys soon. Once again, the Gorkabana, Gilded Agent Toro. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys soon.